Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server in West Hill, which is the medieval town that we've been building for the last three plus years. And we've been working on smoothing out the features of this mountain. And it sounds like a big, crazy task, but it's really gone pretty quick considering the scale of it. And we're gonna pick up where we left off. We're just gonna keep on replacing the dirt with stone all the way around until we get outside of the boundaries of the town. So in some places there is more dirt than others. I realized as I was sitting here before the stream started just how much needs to happen here, but we are gonna, I think, finish this section quite quickly. And I'm actually in a tower here in the mansion. And while I was up here, I was looking around and I do feel like downstairs, we get a little bit lost with the rock that I made the other day. So for here, and we're looking at this rock down here. I feel like it still gets a little bit lost. So we may have to rethink that. Maybe we have to change it to deep slate or maybe we have to uh, change some of the bits around it so that it stands out a little bit more. Maybe we have to turn this into tough or something just so that this stands out a little bit more. It stands out against the stuff behind it, but we also have a lot of dirt behind it right now. And so when that changes, it's okay from here. Like here, you definitely see the texture shift, but I feel like there could be a little bit more happening. And this is a pretty substantial part of this area. So I feel like when we come back to do the river, we're probably going to do a little bit more detailing along here, not like up high, just like just kind of like the first four or five blocks. We might add a little bit here just because it is a space that you can see. Mind Trip Media, thank you for the 100 bits to kick off the stream. Much appreciated. Thanks for the new follows, folks. Always good to see some new faces in chat. We need new stone right away. Uh, I don't think we need to gravel. We're good for andesite. I might actually bring a little extra. And how we're doing for dirt. And we need to dump off some grass, it looks like. How do I get so good at building, asks Spaff. Well, thanks very much. Um, I'm an artist by trade, so I can visualize things pretty easily. Uh, it's also three and a half years of building in a medieval style. I, I don't think my early builds are as good as my current builds, and it just comes down to practice, usually. And we'll grab three for our inventory. And then grass, I think it's full. Yep. We have so much grass. I have to dump this at the other location. The VODs are a good idea too. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Yeah. Yeah, everything is on the Joel Duck and VODs YouTube channel. And unlike a lot of stuff, where you only get to see let's play videos that are edited. Everything in this build has been recorded and shared on YouTube. I have not done anything off camera, so to speak. So it's a lot of content. Like I've got something like, well, I don't know how many VODs are in the Citadel, but we're coming up on 800 VODs on the YouTube channel. And that, but that's for all the games I play, not just, not just Minecraft. And I do put a lot of hours into, there we go. I do put a lot of hours into things like Satisfactory. Uh, should we go? Yeah, I guess we'll go across. I'll leave one in my inventory in case we need it, although I don't imagine we will. 
This is a crypt, by the way, that we're using as storage. The MacCast, subscribe to tier one. 68 months. Thanks so much, MacCast. Always great to see you. You're online. Yes. <laughs> or AFK, anyway. Are you having fake spring down in the States like we are here? <laughs> I saw someone today describe the Canadian spring as a custody battle that Nova Scotia is having between spring and winter. And winter is the one with the really good lawyer. And I thought that was pretty funny. I don't need that. I'm going to need more rockets. Probably some more food. Oh, we're getting low on carrots. Field trip in our future. So like I said, we're just going to pick up where we left off. And what we're doing is just replacing the dirt with stone. So we're just going to keep on moving along here. I'm not sure what's going to happen to Mountain Pig. But I'm just going to keep on moving along here. And I think the easiest thing to do is to go up. Kind of like mine our way up. Missed a spot. It was 70 degrees and sunny one day and 20 degrees and snowy the next. Nice today though. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening up here. It's The temperature has fluctuated twice now in the last four days. 30 degrees. Like it's gone from plus 10. Well, maybe not 30 degrees. 20 degrees. Plus 10 to minus 10. Overnight, three times in the last week. We're back up to four degrees right now, which is fine. I don't I don't mind this kind of weather. I don't mind this kind of weather. All right, pig, you're in the way. So much for pig. Annoying anyway. Yeah, so like that, that didn't take very long at all and we've just kind of eliminated an entire row. So I'd say that's probably the best way to approach this.
think that's everything. It is very repetitive, but gets the job done. Safety record on this project just went to zero. I don't know that the safety record here was ever, ever good anyway. Didn't miss any spots. I kind of wonder if there's a way to have this be a little bit more interesting. I guess I could try to do some horizontal work here too, kind of to break up the monotony. Yes, at some point this has to start to come down. Where is this going to go? Comes down to there. This is going to be two layers up here. So I guess this is going to be stone. This is going to be stone too. I keep on forgetting to install that new texture pack that I want before I stream where it makes the snow on stone have like a cool uh, side texture. Not that this looks bad. Just could look better. That's interesting. I would have not expected that to be there. Now, do I want, I guess I want this to be on Dirt, then this will be stone. This will give me some parameters to work within.
I feel like it's a lot faster at the top, and that's why I keep on popping up to the top and doing a little bit of work, because I feel like I accomplish more faster. Oh, I get pork from that. It's funny. Are we reshaping the cliff? Not really reshaping, more like retexturing. Basically, I'm getting rid of all the dirt. I missed a spot. Yeah, this stuff here has got to be changed. Probably easier to do from above. that's everything oh i should have brought some more I meant to bring up some wood for that tree i don't know if i've left these if they would eventually get snow on them i guess they would right
Uh, Pig Mountain? No. There was a mountain pig. I was uh, I was out for a pint last night, and I'm trying to remember the name of the stout that I had. It was like a chocolate stout, and it was like the name of it was called like Lazy Tim or something. It was really good, good winter beer. It was freezing here last night. It was like minus ten, minus fourteen with the wind chill. I'm not sure what that is in America, but cold, very very cold. Now we get into the tricky parts. Because these are going to be hard to reach. And this is where scaffolding is useless because you can't bridge a gap like this with just scaffolding alone. It doesn't reach that far. Thankfully, we have enough dirt. I am really not worried about losing too much here. I don't know whether it's easy to go north-south or easier to go east-west on this. The jury is still out. I think maybe both because it gives you a chance to change things up so you don't get bored. We are going through more snow layers than we are collecting, though. I'm trying to be good about collecting them. But we are definitely going through more... I thought. Now this, I think we can, do I want to fill that in or do I want to maybe lean into that and make like a little, little cave thing? I think I just want to fill it in. Yeah. I keep on forgetting that you don't have to jump to place snow. Thank you. 
Oops. Here, we'll just use more dirt. CJ, hello, hello. Scaffolding does have its uses. Oh yeah, it's not useless. Um, I used it a lot in the modern city when I was making street lamps and I only had to get up like five or six blocks and I didn't have to travel horizontally more than two or three and it was very useful there. Very useful there. I'm really looking forward to getting the crafter and making like a bamboo powered smelter. And I know scaffolding doesn't necessarily factor into that, but I feel like using scaffolding in that way, or not scaffolding, using bamboo is going to be cool. Because I'm pretty sure, this is from watching things like Hermitcraft, that bamboo is now the best, with the crafter, it's the best fuel source in the game because you can grow it so quickly and then you can auto-craft it into bam bamboo um, blocks and then bamboo planks. And then planks, because planks give the same burn time as other wood blocks like it's a count of eight or something it's the same as charcoal and so because of the ratio of planks to bamboo that you get uh rather than putting just plain bamboo in the smelter it's better to put bamboo planks in the smelter so the crafter kind of it increases the complexity of your super smelter by a little bit but it gives you a much higher output for you can basically you can you can smelt more things for the same number of plants by putting your bamboo through a refinement process. Chest and hoppers for days, yeah, one hundred percent. That too. I'm talking just about smelting, but yeah, that's the other thing. You can also just use bamboo to make chest and hoppers, combined with an iron farm. There's a bunch of stuff that I want to do, and I think I'm gonna do it like in the sci-fi area. I think I'm gonna build my own sort of like cool contraptions just for like personal shulker farm and stuff like that. Although I'm really getting low on shulkers. I really need to go to the end and just kind of gather more. I'm trying to push through and finish West Hill, but I can feel myself also needing a break. getting there oh that's the whole chunk done there the size of the project is still so large that it really doesn't matter where you land there's always something to do Something to be said for having other projects to divert your attention when you need it, especially for long-term worlds. Oh, totally, yeah. I think the thing for me is that I just I really want to push to get this finished. I'd like to I'd like to move on to something non-temporary. Like I'd like to make a permanent shift so that I know every time I'm logging in what I'm going to be doing, you know? And have it be something new and different.
didn't mean to fall that far. Thought maybe a spot of red would be a point of interest. I don't know what you mean. Or did I answer that already? How close am I to finishing Westhill? Uh, pretty close. I mean, like, in the grand scheme of things, I want it. I want it finished before one dot twenty one comes out. So the plan is to have it done by summertime which will bring it to i think basically three and a half years total Just a little bit too low to reach a couple of these. Stone again. Doing wonders for our overflowing stone storage. Uh, I don't. Know. I, could, I don't know if I can give a timeline on it. I think some of the problems with wondering when I'm going to finish Westill is that there's some data pack stuff that has to get sorted out. I really need to update to 1.20.4, and I think I need to do that soon because I was holding off to see if I wanted to update to 1.20.5, like just go straight from dot one to dot five. But dot five looks like it's going to change a lot, and I'm not even really sure how much because I haven't really dove into the notes. And we're going to be talking about it on Monday's um, episode of the Spawn Chunks. But uh, I know that I'm going to need um, to update a lot of data packs and stuff. And I think that it might be better to get to one dot twenty dot four, and then stick there for a while and finish West Hill in 1.20.4. My boots must be taking a kick and no, they're actually all right.
So this is another section I'm probably going to have to come back and revisit. Because we've got this thing here. And we've got this little kind of dock area. I feel like that was meant to be... I can't remember whether that was supposed to be a secret entrance or not. I feel like it was at one point. I feel like I filled that in. Oh, no, it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the secret entrance there. So then all of this, I think, needs to have a change to it. And I don't know, maybe we can work out a way to have a little staircase come up this way. And maybe there could be something else there. I don't know. If nothing else, it's going to have rocks and maybe some moss and some things there. You can't really see it. How do you have the motivation to play for so long on finishing a, a one big build? Just, I enjoy it. I've had a couple of breaks here and there. I play other games. I um, I have other... Um, I'm not sure what you want to call it. Other tasks on the server. Like I made a moss farm and... I helped Cosmic out with a sniffer farm. Little things like that for a stream or two. But for the most part, it's just been me uh, playing here in Westall because I enjoy the process. Like I'm I'm an artist. Uh, I've always been a creator. So I enjoy that process. I think the people that get really hung up on not like wanting to finish projects in Minecraft. Like, you don't have to play Minecraft. You can go do something else. So I don't know if I'm going to leave this. I might make some of this dirt and some of this cliff. Feels like a pretty good ratio. We'll come back with some other other blocks. So from here, it's really more this area that would need some work. I don't know that, that this section is going to need much. I guess it depends on what you can see from over here. Oh, a little bit. I think we're too high up. I don't think you can see the river from up here. Oh, just barely.
I'm Gold. Hello. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday. For anybody in this chat that is a streamer themselves or watches streamers a lot, where do you keep your chat room? I've been thinking about changing my monitor setup a little bit and maybe getting a monitor that goes above my mo my current monitor instead of off to the left. It depends because if I add a camera to the stream then I, I maybe prefer to have it off to the side because then when I look at the chat it'll look like I'm looking at the camera. And that could be cool. A little bit more engaging. I do forget how fast this goes when you don't have to worry about the snow. It's one extra click that you just don't have to worry about. Oh, I missed. I was doing so well. I've got coarse dirt here, but I'm going to replace that. Keep chats to the left when I'm streaming and to the right when I'm viewing. It's weird. Don't ask me why. I think by default, chats are usually on the right in most platforms for people watching. And I think that's because in most Western cultures, people read left to right. And so you're viewing something and then you look to the right to see the continuation of what's happening on screen. I think that makes sense. Uh, with my second monitor, I like to have it vertical and have my uh, couple pages open. Yeah, so right now, I, 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 don't know, I don't know if I... I know functionally it's great to have a, your monitor vertical because it gives you a longer scroll for your chat room. Um, but I, I don't like the way that that looks on my desk, if that makes any sense. So I'd be tempted. Um, I don't have... I don't think I have a computer that's strong enough to do... Or powerful enough to do a um, a three monitor setup. But if I did, I would consider putting the chat above or something above my main monitor. I have no particular reason other than I I saw a, an image on I think TikTok the other day, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. I've seen it before, but the way that they were using it, I was like, that's an interesting way to approach that, you know? That's what I wanted to do last time.
And that's not what I wanted to do. Where does this stop? Uh, I guess it was here. So in some cases here, I'll do a little bit of reshaping just cause it's easy. but nothing too crazy. You put yours to the right because that's where your peripheral vision likes it. Yeah. I mean, my second monitor has always been on the left and I think that's because I'm right handed. And so when I was ever doing artwork and I had reference material up on the other monitor, then it made sense to me to have it uh, where I wouldn't have to look around my hand to see what was going on. There's some weird shapes up here. Kazakh says, when I stream in the past, my stream manager for Twitch is on the left-hand screen, but popped out the chat so I could put it closer to where I was looking. Yeah, I, I'm, the reason I'm asking is sometimes with like tasks like what I'm on now, I feel like sometimes I miss chat or I ignore chat by accident. It's not intentional. So I was thinking about a way to get it more in front of me. I do, I do notice that I'm a little bit more engaged on something like the Lego Let's Chats because... That iPad that I have my chat on in the Lego Let's Chat, it's like right in front of my face. There's, when you think about like where a microphone would sit, there's the microphone and then the iPad with the live chat is right next to the microphone, like right next to it. So I can see very quickly in the corner of my eye when the chat goes up by a notch, like when someone makes a new comment on those Lego Let's Chats, I can 100% see that happening. Whose idea was it to turn this whole mountain into stone? Oh, right, it was mine. All right, let's take a a breath here and just see the progress I mean not bad for the first hour of the stream like this was a, there was a lot of dirt all through here when we started I think that's pretty good we might have a real feeling now from down here No dirt visible. 
until you get to that part there. But like that's that's pretty ominous. I gotta say, I like that. Resisting the urge to make fancy snow layers. But I like just seeing little bits like that at the top. See a little bit of dirt there. This is all gonna go. Yeah, that's cool. There's enough depth happening there that it separates. This is going to be interesting. We might have to think a little bit more about what's happening here. One thing that'll be cool is that that little garden awning thing is going to show up a lot better once all the dirt behind it is removed because there's not going to be any brown over there outside of that. So the green bushes in the brown garden trellis is going to show up. Same thing with that balcony. It's going to show up a lot better when all that's gray. Yeah, the builds in front of it stand out really well too. I never thought about coming around this way. I know we haven't gone this far as far as removing the stone from the mountain or the dirt from the mountain yet, but there's another little look off wharf down here. And same thing, like all of this is going to stand out so much better when all of that's gray. Like all this is going to be nice and shiny and pop out. I feel like even that tree is going to feel stronger. And I don't know about the, around the corner. This is where we still have like a lot of work to do. This, I feel like I'd be more inclined to remove the dirt and not replace it. Because it's a, it's a funny shape. Like this thing here is just a weird shape. I, I'm more inclined to just remove the dirt on this. And just let, let the stone be bare. Maybe we'll run around it with some snow. But there's some weird shapes in here. Some of it's going to be cool. But other shapes are not so cool. Cosmic is reminding me that it's time for my break, and I think that's a good good opportunity to step away, give my eyeballs a little bit of rest, grab another glass of water. You should too. Maybe grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. We're always trying to grow the channel. And I'll be back in about five or six minutes. I missed the balcony. Crap. Very tight staircase in here. Cool. Be right back.
Design this to, to look good, not necessarily be functional. Very tight space. I've got coarse dirt here somewhere. That's that. All the jumping and mining really takes out your hunger. Uh, <laughs> in my head, I was farther along. <laughs> In my head, I was farther along. Oops. Don't want to go down too far because I'll never get back up. I find it's almost an interruption when you have to fly away and come back. I try to do as much as I can without changing where I am on the mountain. Definitely getting a workout on jumping on diagonal blocks and getting that muscle memory honed in. I feel like I'm just doing it constantly here. Like I said, some of these are weird shapes I'm trying to fix a little bit. That's actually okay. I think that goes towards this nice point here. Anything good for lunch? Hmm. I actually, I haven't really been hitting big lunches. I've been doing some intermittent fasting lately just to try to get back on track and uh, 
a lot of times my lunch is my breakfast around 11 or 12. So, I mean, breakfast food is probably my favorite kind of food. This is so easy and so good. So I'm quite happy to have eggs and toast. But I had a big pancake breakfast today and that was earlier. That was, I didn't do, I didn't wait. Um, just because I feel like the, the big pancake brunch is um, really heavy if I had it at noon, right before streaming. So I ate at 10. We have to go repair our shovel soon. I say soon, it's probably just my old lizard brain on the old way that things used to, to work in Minecraft. It's a netherite shovel, it's probably got quite a lot of durability left. It's called brunch. Well, I don't have a lunch because then I have a dinner later. And technically, it would be called breakfast because I'm breaking my fast. Aha! You didn't see me push my glasses up just then, but I totally did. Out of curiosity, for the folks that have been around for a while and have seen a, a lot of different kinds of content from me, with something as methodical, I guess, as this, how like entertaining slash satisfying is it for this kind of stuff to be to be like four or five streams? Because we're we're this is the third stream now that we've been working on this. Big head face with the tier one sub seven months. Happy Saturday. Thanks very much. I am indeed doing well. Weirdly, I've, I feel a little out of sync. I went to the gym on Thursday and normally I do like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing, but I had plans last night. So I went on Thursday instead and I feel really out of sorts. Like it, my Thursday felt like a Friday because I did my Friday workout on a Thursday. So I had to remind it when I woke up this morning, I had to remind myself, wait a minute, it's Saturday, right? I've got a stream today. I watched a video that I linked in the, um, the discord in the Minecraft channel where, uh, I can't remember the creator's name, but they were highlighting some 
of their favorite Minecraft mods, and there's a couple in there, and I didn't realize that we could use uh, the Better Animations mod with um, Sodium, so I think we're going to add that. Um, I don't think it's something that has to be added to the Citadel server. I think I can get away with it just on my own, so I wouldn't have to force other server members to, to deal with it if they didn't want to. But I do really like the way that it looks on, on Hermitcraft. Lifted last night for the first time in maybe a year. Pretty sh out of sorts myself. Oh man, yeah, the first time I'm back after a while. Did you at least take it easy? You didn't do anything silly like go crazy hard, right? When I first got back into it after six or eight years away, um, and that wasn't six or eight years of doing nothing. I was running and cross-training and doing other things like that. Uh, but when I got back into the gym, it was after the first lockdown here. And I had about four months, I'd say, to get back into it slowly. And then there was another lockdown. And then I had to work out at home. So I kind of had that natural kind of because of the pandemic, I had that natural slow start. It kind of forced me not to not to overdo it. Now these are going to start to not have snow on them in some places. Another fun way to do this would be something I think I've mentioned before where in one of the episodes of or seasons of Hermitcraft, Exumavoid just stripped a desert down, right down to the rock. And I think that would be a really cool way to, to change the look of an area. If I wanted to do like a really evil, you know, castle or something like that, it would be fun to go around all of the surrounding landscape and just remove any sort of life. Just grass, trees, anything, flowers, just replace it all but don't necessarily build it back up again. Just just strip it down to just the bare rock. I think it would be a really cool look as to what like the almost like the bones of a Minecraft biome would look like. Sure, I've missed a spot somewhere. Oh, uh, too far. back. That worked out okay. Oh, I missed. We're getting there.
lifted, uh, took it very easy, only 20 pound dumbbells. Right on. Yeah, it's a smart way to go. That's a smart way to go. I've been back in now really seriously for about a year, about two years, I guess now. And so I've really started to hit some, some good walls and some good weight. Or I shouldn't say hit some good walls. I've been breaking through some good walls the last little while. I was talking to a friend last night and saying like, I, I feel like the last couple of months or a couple of weeks even on a bunch of different exercises and a bunch of different body parts, I just seem to break through the ceiling on the progressive overload. And so now, now I'm dealing with much heavier weights, which is, I mean, cool. Yay me. But also, man, it makes for some challenging workouts when that, those first few weeks of, of a new weight where it's like somebody turned up the gravity and, um, it's one thing when that happens on one body part and you've got, okay, so I've made progress there. That's cool. I'll continue to work on everything else. But when it sort of all happens at once and you've got, you know, one of your back ex exercises, you've increased one of your chest exercises, you've increased your squat, you've increased that whole week where you've got like an increased challenge on every single day that you're working out. It's just, it's good. It's fun, but it's a lot. I definitely notice how tired I am because of it. Oh, that's the wrong way. Now, what are we going to do? About this area. I guess we'll just leave all this stone. Mostly here for the conversation, says I'm gold, and the bigger picture of it all. Uh, because you often include a trip to refresh tools or restock because you include chat and how to look at why you choose what you choose, I find it enjoyable, very chill. Cool. Thanks for your feedback. Appreciate it. I know that it's a little bit different than like the higher octane, faster pace of YouTube Let's Play contents because those things are uh, meant to capture... I would say younger viewers, but also just the YouTube audience in general, I think is just looking for a shorter experience than most streams. Um, however, I was watching Cub Fan the other day, and this is not to throw any, any shade at Cub Fan, because I'm a big fan, I like his work, but he did a couple of really cool builds. He might have done them on stream, I guess, but because I missed the stream, his his Minecraft video was just like, and... Here we are, like six hours later, and I've completed this thing. And you're just like, dude, I really would have wanted to watch you build that because I wanted to learn some stuff. And so I find that that's just a little bit, just like not not even frustrating, just like a little disappointing. It's like, oh, well, that's cool. But like, I would have really wanted to see you build and puzzle through at least some of that live, you know? And maybe that's, you know, me missing streams. I do follow Cub on on Twitch, but I I, I never seem to catch... His live streams very often. Out of stone again. I enjoy watching you puzzle through things in CJ. I always learn a lot. Well, thanks. Yeah, that's that's why I, I like watching other creators puzzle through as well. Wrong thing.
I feel like the Hermitcraft VODs are more about storylines than s showing building now. There, I honestly, yeah, there's quite a few people that I follow where they are focusing a lot on the interactions. And the issue that I have with that is that I find I'm skipping through a lot of people's videos because they're all showing the interaction, which is great. But then when you've seen it like four times over, you're like, okay, well, I've, you know, you've interacted with these three hermits and they happen to be the three. And I, I don't want to, again, I don't want to pick on Hermitcraft because I really like everybody that plays on the server. But it's just, it's one of those things where I've watched the interaction between these three people from one person's perspective. And so I don't need to see it from another three or four people's perspective. Is this where I am with stone? I That's, yeah, that's low. Okay. We might have to go get more of that. Maybe that's what we'll do to wrap up the stream. Is, uh, let's get some more stone. I know I have more. Yeah, realistic. That's the thing I do like about what I'm doing is that there's definitely that communication of a realistic time investment for a project like this. Oh, I I prefer streams about building structures too, I'm gold. Like I would much rather be building a cool bridge or house or something. <laughs> this this is part of making this build all the work that I've done down here look even better by this simple uh, and slightly menial task like it's I know it's not the most exciting thing I, I wish it was more exciting but I also I also have to do it and at this point I just it's silly of me to do work in Minecraft and not stream and share it like that's just a that's just not not what I should be doing. So everything gets shared, including the grindy stuff. But I, I, I haven't done a lot of grindy stuff on stream because I don't reset my worlds. So because of that, there's not those like long stream sessions of grinding for materials. I don't have like a chop and Tuesday. Although that might be coming like, oops. Uh, that might be coming as we move into the other area, like the sci-fi area and stuff. There might be a time when uh, I'm grinding for resources or planning a farm. Because I'm going to be moving into an area where I don't have the materials. Like, I don't have a lot of concrete. I don't have a lot of... Like, the materials I'm going to be using in that sci-fi zone are not things that I've been spending the last three years building up. It is insanely quick when you're not doing um, snow layers. Much more fun. Although I did catch some andesite here that I think I want to get rid of. I think that's most of it. Have we have we made like a clean bit of progress? Do we have like any bits that I forgot? Yeah, we're good all the way over there. I don't see any missing bits. I 
I've not done a lot on the top of the mountain, but I also, you can't see the top of the mountain from the town, so I'm not terribly worried about it. All right, that little thing is bugging me right now. Oh, I missed. Get rid of that. Uh, can spider spawner get stuck, i.e. no spiders? Uh, been a while. They don't spawn in if the lights are not off. Now, I guess, do I want to get, yeah, I do want to get rid of a lot of this. So this is going to get switched to stone. Hmm. I don't know. I don't use the spider spawner for XP anymore because the uh, gold farm is just so much better for it. Poor choice. I think we'll just go right along here. Lumerie, we are replacing all of these dirt bits on this mountain because it looks so much better as a backdrop when we do that. So I'll back up. I need to fly up higher anyway. So you can see how much of the mountain we've done and you can see the parts that are not done. And so that's what we've been doing. Takes a while, but the end result is pretty cool.
the supervisory staff seems to think that's a good day for their resignations. <laughs> yeah. I just have no patience today for constant clicking, clucking, oinking stuff in my way when I'm trying to tap blocks and they just wander right in front of you because the pathing for mobs in this game is annoying. That's one of the reasons I'm looking forward to trying something like that new mob animations um, mod pack is because it just, it looks so fun as an animator, someone that like has thoughts and feelings about that stuff. I, uh, I'm excited to have Minecraft feel a little bit more, uh, a little bit more modern, a little bit more alive. I was watching a review of a game and I'm blanking on the name. It's the new action RPG from Moon Studios. They're the people that made Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the Will of the Wisps. And it's called like something dark, like not afraid of the dark, but like some sort of play on that. And my gosh, the, the, the animations, because it's, it's a, just a little bit cartoony. It's still pretty dark and creepy, but it's just a little bit cartoony. But man, the animations of the, of the combat in that game look really fun. A lot of weight and dynamic movement and rolling and dodging and hitting and all that kind of stuff. This is something where that new reach that we got, I think back in 1.13, really comes in handy. No rest for the wicked? I think that's it, Cosmic. I think you're right. But that, like, that's, that's a turn of phrase that's not... It's sort of similar to what I was getting at, but like, I knew the name of the game was not like an original name. It was a phrase that I had heard before. But yes, I believe that's it. But it, it looks like a combination of a looter adventure game like Diablo and a game like Dark Souls, which I don't know if that means I'm going to like it because I don't like the roguelikes. I don't like dying and restarting and all that. But it seems like it could be a good mix. I really like the Ori games. I have not finished either, but I, I did really enjoy my time with them. They're beautiful. They're really fun artistically. The only criticism I have of No Rest for the Wicked right now is that what little we've seen as far as showing off the game has been very dark. So it's hard to really see all the cool work that they've put into the game. So that's a little bit tricky to like judge whether you're going to like it or not. But there is, um, I watched Force Gaming do a review and he's played about 15 hours. And then there is a special that came out yesterday from Moon Studios. The Moon Studios YouTube channel has a proper like showcase that's about 25 minutes long, I think. And so I'm curious to go watch that because if maybe they'll show other levels that weren't in the demo that they gave to um, content creators. But that looks fun. So I might... I might look at that, especially if that's on Game Pass, then I will 100% be playing that. I don't know when it's coming out, though. I don't have a release date. Does anybody know? Hey, there's Aldabar. How's it going?
Oh, we've got some digging to do here. Why not get it all? Uh, spiders got stuck. Posted a citadel in a Discord chat. All right, cool. Um, one of the things that we could use, there's probably been some mob transport methods that we could update in that spider spawner. I'm not sure how good it is. Do you find it like when it works? Do you find it like fast enough, or do you use it because it's proximity? I know we can use armadillos to move spiders around now, but I feel like we just have to do a couple of quick changes to some of the water systems, maybe. I really wish we could use dirt to craft something more than just coarse dirt. Uh, it's slow. I just use it for nostalgia. I was already in the meadows. Yeah, that's fair. There's really not. Yeah, that makes a huge difference down here, eh? There's really not much around the meadows. No more brown behind any of this. Very crisp looking. I like it. check out a couple of other views here. I think I've, I think I've missed a couple spots, but see what I mean? Like that feels way cooler and you still get that randomness that you get with Minecraft uh, world generation, right? Oh, while I'm here, I need to get some wood. That's a weird box. That's what I'm looking for. Do I want to do that? Maybe not. It's a little bit big. Maybe we'll... No, that's okay. Whoops. Sure. Might have overdone it on the snow. 
think the snow on the stone is going to stay as a single layer. So it matches the other stuff. Yeah, I think we're good. While we're up here. It's maybe it wouldn't be so far back. Cool. I think we're good here. Where have I missed a spot? Oh, wow. I actually haven't missed a spot. Nice. Cool. Well, to prepare for tomorrow, we're going to take a short break and go get some more stone. I'm going to repair my shovel. Because we're, pr we're probably going to be able to finish this up tomorrow, I think. We're getting close. But I have... I'll bring the shulker box that I have on me. I'll dump the stone we have now back in the storage system. We're good for andesite. I will grab, we're just going to bring the whole ender chest, I think. So I'll bring that. I just need to repair my pick, my, my shovel and we'll get more, get more stone. So I'll bring an extra shulker box. So I'll grab this box as well. Dump that off. Doing this really brought out the curve of the river. Yeah, I mean, if I look at it on the map, you can really see how clear that is now, right? When all this is gone back to gray, it'll be cool. I feel like I should put an auto close on that other do outside door. All right, so we've got that much stone, but I'm going to go need, we're going to get more. I need to empty this. And I'll just bring all that stuff like that. So we now have a full shulker we can bring back with stone. And I don't think, I don't remember where I have keep feathers. I'll organize that out later. So empty shulker. 
almost empty shulker. And now I just need my bow. That's the wrong thing. Oh, it's over at the other site. Crap. Okay. It's the red, the red shulker box. Oh, I fell in the canal. Not my first time. That's what I want. Yep. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. So many secret ways to get around. Yeah, it's kind of just, I think it comes from spending so long working in an area and getting really tired of having to use your rockets to get out of a place or to swim around something and just be like, you know what, let's just make this as functional as possible. And I think having all those paths and stairs and thinking about like four or five different ways to get from point A to point B in the town, help it feel a lot more lived in or designed by people that would by, you know, law of least effort, take the shortcut, you know, if they can get behind the house to get to where they're needing to go, that's the route they're going to take. And that's, chances are that's going to end up being paved with like a little staircase or something. And I think it adds a lot of fun, not necessarily Easter eggs, but just a lot of character to, to the build. This needs to get some finishing touches as well. Not including that as part of the Westall. I'm just thinking like way, way down the line. All right, let's just move a couple of things around here. Fun little project could be making this look a lot nicer too. I know there's some stone in the modern city, but I feel like we're going to be using a lot of it. So I'm going to pop over to my swamp because that is where I think a lot of the stone is going to be. Although there's probably stone here too. Not a lot. And this is a community place. So I'll leave that. I'll go get my own stone. Oh, hi friend. Just what I want. saw the reflection. I thought there were two. Feels alive with all those passageways. Thanks. Yeah, I think so too. I really wish I could play with shaders on all the time. It makes Minecraft feel so much more modern. Lots of stone. Absolutely tons of stone. Just like that, two shulker boxes full of stone. I 
And that is why I like having a long-term world. Because we've got this huge mine that we dug out underneath the swamp. And it just means that we've got basic materials for absolute days. Which is great. That's dangerous. Why is that there? I really wish I can get rid of these Minecraft noises, or minecart noises. Not my favorite. All right, so that means the elytra and the shovel are gonna get repaired first. All right, folks, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, we are going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let's take a quick look and see what's up. Uh, let's do Tadpole Milk is live. Sounds like a fun place to drop everybody off. Uh, we are going to repair our shovel and a little bit of gear here in preparation for tomorrow. I'll be back again at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours right now until the time change. You can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Cell Cafe podcasts wherever you download your favorite podcasts. They're free. Spawn Chunks is about Minecraft. Citadel Cafe is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Lots of good things there. Both have new episodes out this week, so please go check that out. And uh, I did record a new episode of the Citadel Cafe as well this week that I've yet to e edit and publish. And myself and Johnny from the Spawn Chunks talked about Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. It was a really fun conversation. You can check out things like Patreon if you'd like to support the stream. It's only $2 a month. It does a great deal to keep me streaming. Uh, the more people at those levels that are consistent, then the better I can plan out my stream weeks and plan things like the Friday Lego Let's Chats, which we did yesterday. We finished up the uh, Polaroid SX-70 one-shot camera. That was a lot of fun. And uh, I really can't thank you all enough. Thanks for the subs today for the bits i appreciate the support thanks for the modding cosmic as always and we'll see y'all tomorrow enjoy tadpole milk i will see you later bye bye bye